Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's your man Mike Bowens coming to you once again live and direct. Listen, I got a powerful message for you. This message is entitled, Obstacles Are Illusions. Obstacles are illusions. See, most people get thrown off by what they see. The Bible says that we shall walk by faith and not by sight. Meaning, the obstacle in front of you, the test you gotta take, so that you can get the degree, the license that you need so you can pursue your passion. The neighborhood that you live in, your credit score, what the doctor said you have, cancer, lupus, whatever. <clears throat> your children acting crazy. How people perceive you, where you are to where you wanna be. So you gotta learn to embrace obstacles. See, at a point in time in my life, I used to be like, oh man, I used to just try to go around stuff and not have to face it. But then I, I reached a point in life where I said, you know what? <clears throat> There's always gonna be new obstacles that's gonna arise in life, but I have to be become a person that's a problem solver. I have to become a person who embraces the obstacle and learns how to overcome them, learns how to, right, destroy them, dismantle them. Because if you don't, that same obstacle is gonna keep coming up in your life over and over and over. <clears throat> and, and if you wanna really be successful in life, no matter what area or what field in life you go into, you gotta be a person who says, you know what? I see this obstacle, but I'm not gonna let it stop me. And to be honest with you, some obstacles are smoke screens that the devil throws up to hope that you don't even go towards it. See, we've been taught there's so much competition out there in the world. There's competition in China, there's competition in Japan, there's competition in England, there's competition in the United States. You got to work even harder. Yeah, you got to work harder. But this, some of this stuff that people are teaching is not true. Because the fact of the matter is if you do a study most people do not read one book a year. So you mean to tell me if I just read two books a year, now I'm gonna be smarter than the general population? Oh yeah, because they don't read. Most people don't read. And if you don't educate your mind, then you will stay at the level that you're on. So you, I can determine what your next five years is gonna look like. It's gonna be a, a culmination of the books that you read and the people that's closest to you. And so, if you're constantly around people that's Debbie Downers, constantly people who don't want nothing out of life, constantly around people who just constantly complaining, nobody knows the troubles I've seen. Nobody knows the pain I feel. They sing the same song, different day. Different year, they sing, singing the same song, same song. And if you're not a person who's constantly educating your mind, elevating your mind and reading autobiographies and, and, and studying documentaries, and, see, because nothing, there's nothing new under the sun. You may never get to meet um, the most successful people, but you can read their books and they're always waiting to have a meeting with you to tell you what they have learned and how you can do it and how you can do it even better. See, and so the obstacles that you're facing are only obstacles when you don't have the information on how to overcome it. It's only an obstacle when you don't know how to how to do better. You ever heard the saying? You would do better when you know how to do better. And you hear people say all the time, I'm doing the best that I can. They're not lying, they're not lying. But just because you're doing the best you can don't mean that that's the best way to do it. And so, when I think about the, the word of God and, and how God orchestrate this whole thing, the Bible is so true that he always makes a way of escape. So when you feel like you're bombarded, you feel like you're trapped, the Bible says that God always makes a way of escape. There's a way for you to get out of what you're in. There's a way for you to get out of poverty. There's a way for you to get out of sickness. There's a way for you to get out of depression. There's a way for you to get out of 
um, unhappiness or sickness or right there's a way for you to get out of being a hater and let's just stop right there for a moment a lot of people are haters you don't have to be a hater when you learn to celebrate what God is doing in somebody else's life guess what happens you begin to elevate you begin to be freed to live in your purpose to live in your destiny because God is not a little God that he would give this person this much ability and give this person no no ability whatsoever. Everyone has a genius within them. Everyone has talent within them. Everyone has giftings within them. But as I said before, and I'm going to continue saying this, most people look on the outside, what this person is doing, what that person is doing, and they're looking, they're not looking on the inside of them and say, what can I be doing? that line up with my gifts and my talents and my abilities, right? So therefore there's no jealousy, there's no hatred because you're doing what God put you here to do and I'm doing what God put me here to do and we're both necessary, right? I need what you do, you need what I do and together we feed off each other and make this world a better place. And so every obstacle I want you to see it as an illusion, it is not real, it's a smoke screen. Yeah, it's there. Yeah, we hear what the doctor says. Yeah, but I could change my diet. I could put prayer upon it, right? I could call forth the elders of the church and let them be anointed with oil and pray over you. Trusting by faith that God's going to heal your body, you don't have to be sick no more, right? You can start juicing, change your diet, stop eating fried foods, stop eating those french fries, right? Have a better diet, fruits and vegetables, baked foods, right? And you can, you can heal thyself. You can reverse sickness. You tie it all the time. Well, you can find out what minerals and vitamins you need to put into your body so that you can have the right energy. See, I've learned that obstacles stay obstacles when people are lazy. Mm-hmm. Did I say it? Yeah, I did. It stays there when people are lazy, when they just want somebody to pacify them. Oh, it's okay. You're going to be all right. I understand. They don't want to take out the time. And we live in the information age. They don't want to take out the time to go on the computer and research. Why am I tired all the time? Why do I feel sick? You know, I remember when I when I went to the doctor before and I had like this pinched nerve in my back, but at the time, I didn't I didn't hundred percent know that's what I had. But I looked it up on WebMD, and that's what it said that I had. So I said, okay, I'm going to the doctor. He asked me what my symptoms were. I told him. Now at the time, the room had a glass window. And you could see directly to where the doctors were. They had like this office that was surrounded by glass. You could see all inside the windows. The doctor was on the computer looking up my symptoms on the computer. I said, so wait a minute, he doesn't know? He's just doing what I did? So he came back in, he says, oh, you have a pinch nerve and it's all typed up on the paper that they printed up. I said, I could have done, I did that myself. So what was the point of me coming here and sitting here for three and a half hours for you to tell me what I already knew? And so every obstacle is an illusion. Don't allow what you see, don't allow what you hear, and don't allow what you feel to contain you, to stop you from moving forward in Jesus' name. This is your man, Mike Bowens. I'm signing off until next time. And I'm saying, be blessed.